you sure Let's you see. don't have Tourette's? I think I do. My father does, I think. Yeah, I could tell you. Your father and his sneep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And... And... Now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, by the way, Keith, I found you in Bloodborne. Oh, really? Like, what am I doing in Bloodborne? Well, you're one of the people hiding inside the buildings, right? And I went and knocked on this door, right? And he sounded just like you, and he went, Wee -hee -hee! And I was like, Oh my god, I got Keith! And every time I do it, he does something different, and it just sounds like you. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you see? Uh, yeah, I can see. Oh, right. I didn't know I didn't tell you this yet. I think I'm going to Platinum Bloodborne. I think I'm going to okay. attempt it. I think I'm going to put the patience in for it. I think. Okay, can I start? Um, yes you can. Okay. Hello the heads of Euro coins that were... Hello the heads of Euro <laughs> coins that were... Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell were you trying to say? Hello the heads of Euro coins that were... Okay, let's try this again. Hello the gunk underneath the triangle button of my PlayStation controllers and welcome to Jack and Daxter to be Cursor Legacy episode. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even understand that. Oh, you'll see it. Uh, episode 7, uh, I think. <coughs> yeah. Uh, with one hand, of course. Let's get that started now. Now, I want to load our check game. everything to make sure that everything is recording? Yeah, it is. Are you sure? <laughs> is it? God damn it. Okay, you're recording, that's recording, that's recording, everything's recording, I can't believe you made me do that. Okay, okay, oh, we're here, of course, that's nice. Right. Oh, wow, okay. that puts you all the way back there, too. <laughs> I still have the orbs, so that's nice. Or at the orbs, so. Things. You fuck. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm in a much better mood today, so I might be able to actually play, which is nice. Get oh, through this horse shit. Just yeah. get through it. I got that parasol over there, didn't I? So I'm just going straight over here. Should I get those scout flies? Are they easy? Um, I think they're worth Considering it. you're doing this with one hand and you have to jump on these things. Uh, okay, I'll come back if I'm stuck. If I need a parasol later I would on, just say, I'll I would you. just, I would just say, fuck this room. Honestly, mm. I would just go. Oh, just wait till we get to spider caves. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I never got this. This is where I ended, isn't it? Yeah, I never got this yeah. part over here. Oh, fuck, yeah, Spider Caves. I'm going to try and skip that completely. Because fuck that shit, man. Oops. The way, how th the way how this is going, Keith, you might have to skip a lot of this. You might need to go into Spider Caves for Maybe. a little bit. Yeah, this is this is where the run fucking starts and fucking starts killing me, man. Because this is oh, I not... Not I fun. knew this was gonna be rough. I knew this was gonna be rough. Alright. So, uh, do you wanna get and those? This... Go on. Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, no. Was... You have to say what you were saying, because then we won't be able to go back. <laughs> Ever again. No, I just think that this is probably going to be the easiest of the hard stuff. <laughs> Don't say that. No. Stopping that should be alright. Oh, fuck, no, it won't be. I just thought about Actually, Oh, the ice. I, I think. Bogey Swamp might actually be easier than this, just because of the level design. Yeah. Um. So, I have a assortment of questions that we've been trying to get through the last three episodes. Didn't uh -huh. think this was going to get through one, like, 20 minutes of one episode. This is literally the third episode we're going to be talking about these nice. questions. How far through are we? Oh, can you add one to it as well, while we're here? Add the Mandela effect. I really want to talk about that. It's already interesting. We'll talk about it in the Mario thing. Oh, uh, shit, spoilers! What? <laughs> I was talking about my Uncle Mario, who lives in oh. the Villa di Torre. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um... So, we're not even halfway through this yet, so if we're gonna add anything more, that's... The question isn't gonna be answered till, like, five fucking episodes later, so... <laughs> um, alright, so... The next question that uh, we put on for us, well not question, but thing to talk about is, recent game that we played that we thought was great recently. Uh, so does that be a recent game? Well yeah, okay, well, well no, no, it can't really be a recent game because I haven't played much recent games. But you go first. Recent, recent, recent as in us. Yeah, like okay, games the game we played, played recently. recently. Okay, it doesn't have yeah. to be new. 
Alright, I, I already- I already know what yours is. Yeah. Um... Um, me recently, a game that I've played that I found to be really, really, really good, um, would be, uh, uh, Bloodborne, actually. Nice. Um, uh, Bloodborne is one of them super duper fucking hard games that you need to constantly read and, you know... In the Solo series, right? Know what the hell you're doing, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's in the... Oh my god. In the Soul series, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's not part of the Soul series at all. No. It's by it's made by the people who made yeah. it. Who okay. made that. And uh Yeah, it's really hard, it's really challenging, but the level designs and the NPC designs are probably one of the best designs I've seen in a game thus far on this console generation. Mm -hmm. It the game really does blow a lot of things out of the water. It's yeah. definitely going to be one of those games that's going to hold up for a very long time. Nice. Haven't finished it yet, but uh, hopefully going to be able to do that sometime this millennia. <laughs> Anyways, Keith, what's yours? Uh, mine, I have two. Uh, two about Nintendo games, two about Mario games. Uh, first of all, I'm Super Mario 3D World. Absolutely phenomenal game. Uh, Wii U's best exclusive from what I've played so far. And uh, yeah, it's it's such a good game. The level is like, every single level is fun. There is not a single bad level in the game thus far. Um, it gets very challenging later on, but it's not challenging to where you want to fucking kill yourself. It's it's just a fair amount of challenge that makes you feel like really fulfilled after you actually finish it. Uh, the game's graphics are phenomenal. The game's gameplay is phenomenal. The game is a phenomenal game. I it's like it's nearly flawless. Like there's barely anything wrong with it. Um, and yeah, it's an absolutely great game. Uh, the other one is one that we're actually I like so much. I'm actually going to do. Uh, I might as well tell you here. A let's play of, and um, it might be directly after this. We might like switch days between um, Jack and Daxter let's play and a Super Mario Sunshine let's play, and I died. <laughs> yeah, because um, I played a few. I, I haven't. It's going to be a blind let's play, a blind run because I haven't really um. <clears throat> I really played uh, the first. I played like the first, yeah, about the first 20 minutes of it, and I really like what I played with it. So, um, yeah, we'll see. You'll see my thoughts form of the game as I play it. So, I think that'd be an interesting thing to do. And, yeah, it's gonna be the first, like, real, um, like, boring Let's Play I've ever done, for lack of a better term. Because, like, there's not gonna be any challenges to it, it's just gonna be me playing through the game for the first time and getting my raw reaction. So, I haven't done that yet. I Every game I've played yeah. on the channel, I've, um, I've played a million times, <clears throat> and they're usually my favorite games, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So that's that done. All right. So, um, Keith, you wanted me to bring this up, um, and I'm gonna say it now. Drunk people. Yes. Okay. So, um, I don't know how to start this. Um, I am a really really bad disdain for people like a really bad that's great English to you. but I've had disdain for people that are um, that can't handle their drink that like so I can't relate to this because I don't drink I haven't drank in my life and I never plan on because I'm just not uh, bad experiences and shit but um couldn't even if you wanted to you would fucking die uh, probably yeah uh, but um yeah I just cannot Stand people. It's not just drink either, it's just like the highs or whatever. People that cannot control that shit and just are complete fucking dickheads whenever they get anything inside them that fucking changes their uh, personality. That are just, I just have no tolerance for it. So I have no problem if people drink and like get drunk and like have fun, have a buzz, whatever, that's fine. But when you start getting in my face and annoying me and in, in fucking fading my my space that's when i have a fucking problem with it and a lot of people that drink and get drunk fucking do it and i swear to god whenever that happens i just have to walk out of the room before i fucking start something because it's just so, 
before I explode because I cannot fucking stand it. in your face fucking spitting all over you the smell of your <laughs> fucking breath the fucking they can't even fucking get through one word it's, it's kind of like the way I talk yeah, they can't get through one word without fucking slurring over themselves and it's like they spew out the most fucking disgusting shit that I've ever heard in my life and they say some of the most stupidest it really makes you question humanity and I fucking cannot stand it so if, if you ever meet me in real <laughs> <laughs> so you get me started on that. But uh, if you ever get drunk and you meet me for some reason, just don't come near me. And if you do come near me, make sure you can fucking actually talk. So just say. Exactly. <laughs> I just want to rant on that. Exactly. You know, I got the same similar story about that. My, myself. Uh -huh. just, I, deal, I deal with it. I deal with it like almost every fucking day. But, um, uh, this one time, like, <laughs> certain people were doing certain things, and someone who I know got very angry because he couldn't, he was intoxicated, and he couldn't undo the, he had a grill, and you know, like, you got a propane tank on your grill, you know, and he couldn't undo it for some reason, and I was like, Nick, can I stop you there? You have to remind me after the story to tell you something about, uh, tell me something about, uh, a popcorn maker, right? Just, just, okay. just remind me. Okay, uh, so the the knob on the propane tank wouldn't turn, so he got really pissed off at it. So he got up, mind you, this man weighs like 300 pounds, and he's like fucking 6 foot 5. Like, he's massive. He's not fat, he's just massive, he's just tall as shit. Right? He starts getting up and like fucking, this is Sparta style, fucking kicking the grill, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? And then he takes the propane tank, right, throws it in the yard. Like, fucking throws it, right? Runs back into the bedroom, runs back into the bedroom, and takes out his fucking pistol and starts shooting at it. Mm. By the way, I didn't mean to get that power, so. <laughs> Whatever. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, drunk people, and you said you had something you had to oh, tell me yeah. about the machine, I think? Yes. Okay, so we had a popcorn maker, uh, like about 10 years ago. Well, this is longer than 10 years. This is ages ago. <clears throat> And uh, we got a brand new popcorn maker because, I don't know, we just found a cheap or whatever. I don't know, we had a popcorn maker for some reason. And we were all excited about it for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway, yeah, one night um, my dad came home. He had a bit of. He was a bit intoxicated, should I say. And um, he came home with a Chinese that was gone cold because it was a long walk home. So he takes the Chinese and puts it in the <laughs> popcorn maker <laughs> to eat it up. Did it work? No, it exploded! <laughs> <laughs> and then, after it exploded, right, just the best part, after it exploded, he picked it up, all the pieces up from wherever the fuck they were, and ate it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Actually, oh, there was this one time where I got drunk, right? Uh-huh. And it was a time when I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna get drunk and shit. And I started making, like, coffee liquors, like, mixing coffee liquors and shit. It's uh -huh. some Irish cream. Irish cream. It's just creme. It's just creme. Inside joke there. <laughs> and, if you ever uh, play Ratchet Deadlocked, search the online thing, if the server's still up, and look up yep. Irish creme. Yep, that's that's us. That's us. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I was, I went back upstairs with my drink, my massive drink. Uh -huh. It was literally a giant fucking like half gallon cup <laughs> of <laughs> liquor. Right? Yeah. I, I started playing uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Three. Right? Okay. And I was drinking it, I had my headphones on, I was listening to some good old cold chamber. You wouldn't know, Keith. But I was just sitting there, drinking it, jamming along to my heavy metal. Right? And then all of a sudden, I was like laid back, I couldn't fucking move. And I was just running into a tree. Like climbing up a tree, dropping. Climbing up a tree, dropping. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> I woke up my parents and I had like two cigarettes in my hand. Like one in each hand and stuff. And I was like walking around and shit, 
and I go downstairs and I get up on the table and I start dancing on the table and I'm like sitting there drinking and shit like the what? fucking hobbits and shit. <laughs> and then I fall off the table and smash into a vase and I'm laying in blind <laughs> shit and I'm like, oh my, God. <laughs> and my mom had to sit on me on the couch so I wouldn't get back up. <laughs> <laughs> and That's... uh that's, that's Eventually, insane. I managed to pass out, and I woke up the next morning, and I felt fucking amazing. No hangover or nothing. <laughs> I had like fucking coffee liquor in my hair and shit, and, it was, like, <laughs> and shit, and I was like bleeding and shit. Wow. And I fucking like broke something, like a fucking I broke a part of my amp off <laughs> and shit. And it was just all it was just really fucked up. But that was like probably one of my only good experiences with alcohol. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what so, I was saying on this topic, uh, I'll do one more story. It's my grandfather used to come in, he had a few drinks, and then come in and say hello to my parents and all. We, we all lived close together, he used to. <clears throat> and um, he came in one day and we had like a, a toddler saying over, one of my sisters, not one of my sisters, one of my mother's sisters, things, children. <laughs> we had him saying over and his potty, they were being potty trained. And uh, my grandfather came in. He was demonstrating something that happened to him a few years ago. So what he done was he he climbed, <laughs> he got on top of the potty, stood on it, and then realized, oh no, I can't stand here for very long or I'll fall over. So he uh, he, he nearly fell. He grabbed onto the curtains. The curtains were pulled down, like <laughs> came down under his weight, and he fell flat on his back. And the piss pot came down and fucking landed on his head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got that. Yeah. I should say some of these stories. I have some fucking gold. Mm. It's like shit. Right. Fucking movie. It's ridiculous. All right, so Keith. Yeah. This next topic is gonna be pretty good. Uh huh. How long are you planning on recording this episode for, more? Because this is probably gonna take a little while. Um, let's, let's see how it goes. I'm not too worried. Okay. All right, so the next one is Assassin's <laughs> Creed Expectations. <laughs> ah yes. So, if it's released in 2017. If it is. So, I guess I'll start this off by saying there's been a little leak of something. So, you all know about the, the Switch conference coming up on the 13th? Oh, hell yeah. Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday. So, we got a little bit of a, a, a picture, a leaked picture of, uh, um, uh, a picture of the game lineup. And, uh, this game called Assassin's Creed Egypt was on the Switch thing now. Assassin's Creed? Nintendo? Mm. That's weird. Not really. You know. they, see, they see 3 and 4 on the Wii U. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, that's very true. But it's just weird. Like, that's what, like, the <clears throat> first Assassin's Creed anything is going to be announced since forever, you know? Yeah. So, I thought about it for a second, and I think we're just missing a word in this title. Chronicles. I think they're going to be making an Assassin's Creed in Egypt Chronicles, mm. Chronicle Egypt thing. Make the most sense. And, yeah, and apparently you're supposed to be able to play as a female assassin with control of a snake to assassinate Cleopatra? I think something like that, because apparently Cleopatra was killed by a snake. I think, I don't know, I don't know if that's so, true. <laughs> in this that game you can turn really into a snake, confirmed. Well, not turn into a snake, you can just control a snake, but technically oh. I guess you can controlling Oh my god, that was easier than I thought. So, uh, yeah, but that just makes me beg the question, Keith, what the hell is Empire? If that's the case, what is Empire? Uh, what's, what could they do after the, I mean, it's obvious what they can do after the fucking Industrial Revolution, but will they do it? Will they go full on World War One? Hmm, that would be interesting, because that was very, that was very fun. In uh, Syndicate, going yeah. for that was fun. That was a good part. That's my favorite part. As they, said, as they as they said time and time again, they didn't want to have a game in any of the world wars, which doesn't yeah. make any sense to me because that would be the perfect setting. A lot of action, you know, a lot of really mm. like, interesting characters. Like imagine them trying to personify Hitler, bring him back to life. You know, but that, not World that War One. Well, World War Two, World War One, yeah. World War Two, wherever they decide to go. Yeah. I mean, that would be interesting to me. Like, you know, like, say World War Two, you know, go around and become a, a 
like a slave, you know, mm-hmm. like a, not a slave, like a Holocaust a victim, a Jew, and you have to escape, and then you got to plot your vengeance or whatever because they killed all your family in the gas yeah. chamber. So That'd be awesome, yeah. Like, I mean, not getting your family killed in the gas chamber, but like being an assassin. <laughs> yeah, or even better yet, this is a perfect thing that they could do, right? It doesn't have to completely take place in World War Two, you know, and oh, then. Yeah. Like, say near like the end, like after like the events of like a World War Two part of the game, there's a person called the Angel of Death, Joseph Magelli or whatever, and he uh-huh. used to like sew children together and shit like that. Like he did a bunch of experiments and shit, like fucking injecting their eyes with ink and shit, like just a whole bunch of fucked up shit. <clears throat> um, what would be interesting is if you had to go and track him down as like a side quest, you know, <laughs> have to like find him to kill him or whatever. You know, like, there's so many things that they could do with that that would be very interesting. <laughs> but, Assassin's I, I Creed just... Empire... Huh? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I apologize for the gameplay again, by the way. I have no idea what to fucking do. There's absolutely no order to this. Mm-hmm. But I just realized I forgot to talk to the gambler. That's why I couldn't do the race. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it means, Keith. Assassin's Creed Empire. It could be a World War II game. Think Maybe. about this. Empire. German. God and light German is Reich. Crazy. The, G- the German Empire uh-huh. was was an empire. You know, it was took over a lot of Europe. So that could be what it means too. <clears throat> oh. There we go. Now the line should be a bit better. It went. It got ridiculously dark all of a sudden. And there's a storm coming, so it got pretty dark. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I could see that. Mm. So yeah, well, there's that. Anything you want to add, Keith? And what are your um, expectations? I just want the game to be good. <laughs> I want a Assassin's Creed game to be in a like because they have not slowed down. Like the the thing that killed Assassin's Creed was a yearly release, in my opinion. I think um, they should not have done it yearly because the games are far too vast and far too big to get what you wanted in in a year's time. It's just ridiculous the pace they're making those games at, and they were big, massive fucking triple A games, with open open so world much. games, and they were doing and so were much, doing and they were making really good games. But then it eventually caught up to them, and then that's when they started getting all fuck. They all started. Getting, that's when the pressure started getting to them, like around Unity and shit like that. But and um, the funny thing is, is Unity. Unity it's not even a bad Unity, game. They're really like, not even bad games. They never made a bad game, technically, which is insane. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Th- this is what makes me so excited for it, because they have fucking time this time. What the fuck? If they made Assassin's Creed 4 in a year, what the fuck can they make in three years? Or two years, or however long they take? <laughs> Only thing I'm going to say is, the game better run at 60 frames and smooth. That's all I want, really. Well, if you can't get it running at 60, then uh, just run it at 30. Put it at 30. Smooth. Put it at 30. Yeah. Just put it at 30 and get some good post-processing on that bitch and it'll be like fucking The Witcher. Not, not that they're not trying to do that already. Yeah, they're, they're really worried about the fucking things that people are saying. That, oh, we want to make The Witcher. Shit, I didn't get the record. God damn it. Yeah, you see, this is their reasoning. They're thinking it like this, right? Back in the old times, like Egypt, like prehistoric, they're thinking, hey, um, history wasn't really recorded well back then, we have more freedom to do what we want. Let's put in yeah. multiple choice options. Well, you should have done that from I the don't... fucking start. Tough luck. Bad decision. Too late now. Go back if you want, but I think it'd piss off a lot of fans if you don't that. Mm-hmm. It would really... It would make the game more convoluted than it already is. Yeah. The story, I mean, not... the story game would be fantastic, but the story would just be fucked. Modern yeah. day story. I mean, with Assassin's Creed, you have to have you have to have good gameplay and good story. You have to have the two, or else it's pointless. But, anyways, that's enough about Assassin's Creed. Uh, so, uh, how hyped are you for Dragon Ball Super, Keith? Well, we've already watched it, so why hyped? Well, but. there's gonna be more episodes and shit, so I mean, there's more know. episodes. No. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I really liked the first episode. Uh, if, if you want to know more about this, watch the review. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I. Oh, let me try this shit again. But, um, yeah, the first episode was phenomenal. I really liked it. Uh, Dragon Ball is back, and I'm really happy about that. It looks like it's back on form. 
and uh, yeah, I'm look, really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next episode and see what's ahead of me, as long as I don't get fucking spoiled by some bastards. So, um, yeah. Oh, well, you know. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. But I think after you attempt to do this, Keith, we should cut this episode off. This has been going on for a while. Mm, it's been 24 minutes. Yeah. You don't need every single episode to be 45 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, okay, give me a sec. I want to get one more power cell before I cut this off. I want... Oh my god, we what, what need one we... more power cell. What are we at? 44. I mean, I could go one right now, cell? but I want one more power cell. Like, even now. Yeah. And then we could just head on over, and we could start the next thing by... <laughs> claw. <laughs> <laughs> I want to buy this one first, so I want to get a few. Because how much do I need to go to Gotham Ice Citadel? 72. Oh, are you fucking serious? Yep. Oh, man. Literally, you can only skip one place. Actually, two places in order to get 72. And they are... anywhere. Well, normally I would skip the Lost Precursor City. Mm -hmm. And I would <laughs> skip... Actually, three places. No, no, just two. No, just two. Sorry. Um, I would skip that or Spider Caves. Well, you can or do skip half and half. So one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I might just do half and half. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving this place. I'll get one more power cell somewhere, so I'm, I'm not good. Where is the race going? I cannot find my place. Have my way around this place at all. The race is literally okay. Go, go out that right through there, and then take a right. I think no left. Mm, sorry, no, it's fucking thing. idiot. Yeah, go straight in that direction. You should see the the flag. Uh, Keep going oh, straight. I see it. Ah, sh ah, shit! I put my headphones out. <laughs> okay, now I'm back. Sorry. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. I'm getting this power cell. I'm getting this power cell. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting it. I hope so. We're off to a kind of a, a rough Rocky start here. Start. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god. You think the speed might help, but it might actually hinder. Give me a sec. Okay. I think uh, we've got it. We have to have got it. Alright. Yeah, I do the same thing. It. We've got it. Drop down like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, as long as I don't fuck off here, I should be fine. Okay, okay, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Yes! Nice. Awesome. Okay, that's There's that. I'll go get, yeah, I'll go get my thing, and then I can leave this first basin. I might go back to the last precursor city if I need more power cells later on, but for now I'm going to the Boggy Swamp, and then we'll go fight Claw, probably in the next episode, but we're going to get a power cell first, then I'll get this episode wrapped up. Where the fuck is the way out? This is how good my sense of direction is. Oh my god, go fucking straight. Not that way, turn around. Mm. Turn around, and then go left. Oh, I no, see. right. Sorry. My fucking lefts and rights are off. You have no sense of direction, I have no concept of left or right. <laughs> We're great. Okay, off we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna get our power sail. And then, we're gonna awkward. smash our face into a fucking flaming rock. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck- oh my god, he popped in. <gasps> Pop in! Even Jack does it. Yeah, it's just my disc, I think. Yes, I'm blaming the disc. That's how biased I am. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's episode... Seven? Yeah? Seven. And we oh, have gosh. a total of 45 power cells. Um, I'm gonna go talk to that Trian Ninja hero person over there. Gonna get the bridge built. Gonna go to Boggy Swamp. Gonna fight Claw. It's gonna be an eventful episode, so make sure you're here. Make sure you're available. If you're not available, yeah. I'll have to kill you!